I think so. Yeah, maybe because Inkling, Inkling's just hell good too. Like mm -hmm. if you play against a good Inkling, I feel like people underrate Inkling at a low level because they don't know how to properly yeah. space him. But the character is scary. Right level. off the bat, he's gonna get cloud limit. Yeah, no, <laughs> it, it, this he's gonna be playing with Arsene the entire game basically. It's just built into his kit. Um, oh, he's getting okay. a little something started. Ooh, okay, oh, nice oh, oh. fifty, quick fifty right there. So we, we we've established that Terrence knows his his bread and butters, and he knows how to rack that damage up early. 50, wait, huh? We fit can also accumulate. We're gonna see both characters. This is gonna be a very explosive matchup. I want to see how Terrence deals with John zoning him out, because John likes to set up all of his tools before he decides to approach Ooh, you and go in. Really, really smart to use the focus to so it avoid him through the soccer ball. It's it's all gonna be how Terrence navigates the approach game, and I think he's taking a pretty relaxed approach mm -hmm. so far. Oh, Ooh. caught the tippy toe. Of his tippy toes. Of course, the weakest point of Canon Leo is that they have really, really punishable recoveries yeah. with anybody with a projectile or a disjoint. Um, and I really also want to mention that uh, I would love John's use of the soccer ball grounded. That cross up was filthy. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. I think, I don't know if you want. Okay, that's stock. Oh, oh, I meant that was a stock for yeah, John Numbers. That's what <laughs> yeah, I, I think he could have gotten away with doing the Shoryuken a little bit earlier. I think he was maybe worried that he was a little too close to the ledge to do it. Yeah. Because there are certain. Okay, the back is going to seal off the yeah. stock. There really are really certain good. angles where Ken does his upbeat where he just kills himself. Oh my god. Okay. I, I like that Terrence is not getting too impatient, though. Um, John thrives heavily off of players getting impatient versus him because that's where he knows he's able. He's just waiting for his opening to come up. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, for sure. And oh, and John's gonna get a little something started, and clearly okay. that's not a true follow up. He was <laughs> able to mash out that down B. I like Terrence not going off stage against John. I think he knows that Ken doesn't exactly have the tools mm -hmm. to facilitate gipping that low, so he's just gonna stay on stage. There's really no point to committing that much, uh, especially. I mean, right now. If John was off stage. No jump, oh. and he's dead, yeah. That was just textbook. Ter Terrence definitely has to be a little more wary about his jumps mm -hmm. uh, as he's coming back. If you jump high against John, Wii Fit's aerial drift is definitely yeah. able to beat you out on that. And he, John has way more tools to keep you off stage mm -hmm. and kill you once you're off stage than, than uh, you do getting back to the stage as Ken, so. And so I, I just feel like um, Terrence, when, when he does actually win the neutral change, like he's getting so much off of it. Like right, yeah. You know, he, he got like a good, a clean 50 to start mm -hmm. off the game, and he knew. I feel like just he needs to kill. Yep. We Fit is not the heaviest character. Uh, you, you need to close off these stocks. Yeah. Or else you're going to get thrown off stage and then you dead at if, any percent. If you get an up tilt, like confirm at like past 60, you should sure you can. Definitely. I, I, think, I think just establishing stage control also is extremely important because yep. it allows you to move in. John, John, I think having such a strong suit and being in disadvantage, like he's not afraid to be on the back foot. Wow, that F smash was enough. It's, it's tough, man. Oh. That move is tough. Goodness. All right, there we go. Nice parry though to get it. He couldn't get the full conversion off of it though. Talents needs to definitely. Talents needs to make something up because numbers is just like going ham on ledge right now. He's, he's keeping him in the corner, though. He's trying to react to his, uh, John's ledge options, and he's doing a good job thus far. He just, yep. One slip up, though, is so crucial. All right, I like that a lot. He just waited. Jo yep. He knows he, John is waiting there for a grab or something else. The thing is, Ken's grab game is really crazy. Mm -hmm. Not many Ken players tend to grab too much. They just want to get hit their, their hits in. That back air almost did it. That's a super meaty back air. This should be a free kill. <gasps> no, he misses it. I love the patience coming up from Terrence right now. He knows that if Numbers is going to drop down to ledge, it's going to be really, really oh. full of uh, Raleigh back in. Mm -hmm. um, okay, down smash, down not going to take it. Probably his weakest smash attack, honestly. Um, hmm. The auto turnaround definitely helps, though, in this matchup, I'd say. Because look at that. He, yep. he can't really cross Ken up. You can if he drops shield. But if he still has shield up, he's chilling. All right, though, waiting. John, though, just a bit more patient. And obviously because of Wii Fit's wow. phenomenal crouch. Um, you know, she's just able to duck on dude, um, you know, any Hadoukens that he throws out. Did you see that? Yep. I love seeing... Oh my god, bro. I love seeing Numbers play around the soccer ball because he knows every angle it goes at. That was, okay, great strong f tilt right there. Alright, Terrence. Alright, Dr. Mark. Ooh! The thing is, the, the punish game on Wii Fit is so explosive that you just... Mm -hmm. She can get more off of her hit, I, I believe. Okay, no! Okay, the jab. <gasps> he, he went for it. He definitely went for it. The wind box actually kept him at bay when John was 
charging it because uh, charging Sun Salutation has a win box on it, so it actually pushed Terrence away from getting the down air. I love these crouches coming off from John, and I can't help but feel just so bad for Terrence uh. that Weefit has this privilege to just, hey, buddy, <laughs> are you going to use any of your toes? That's death. You can't. No way, he lives. <laughs> and, yep. These angles are so scary. How does he know every direction it goes in, man? That's so cool. I love seeing John do cool stuff like that. And I just love like the little bit of a weight and the patience for the Saku ball just to bounce up just a little bit, and then he, he kicks it back. One oh. thing I'd like Terrence to do with this mid-range a little bit is kind of vibe check John a little bit with the, the Hadouken. I feel like at a mid-range it'd be fine. Doesn't have too much. Oh. That's it. Okay, that's a stock. That's a there stock. we go. That's what he needs. Okay, Kenazu Rage Monster. One ground down in. That's it. That's it. <laughs> Yeah, that's where that's right. where the bad habit goes. This guy's invincible. I need to get away from him immediately, and he just rolled into it. Anyhow, good stuff to both players. Terence was making a he was making to get adaptations, a yeah, for sure. On John at the end, um, he was paying. I I, I want to see more patience out mm -hmm. of him because I think that's his strongest suit right now. Uh, if he just if he waited like a second longer and it was more reactive, I think he would be he'd be nice. He'd be nasty. Mm -hmm. And I think we fits definitely like one of those most unconventional matchups just because. What's considered how many people? How many people do you know play We Fit also? There's so little. John. There's John. There's